Hey guys, my name is Chris Keller, and my leadership quality is listening. To start off this presentation, I love to quote the famous Dalai Lama. When you talk, you are only repeating what you already know. But if you listen, you may learn something new. Our book talks about three key types of listening. The first, active listening. The second, empathetic listening. And last but not least, critical listening. As we go through this presentation, I'll break down each one and what it means and give you an example of each as we go. So let's dive right in. Like I said, the first is active listening. So what is active listening? Active listening is listening with a purpose. The book identifies four key steps to active listening. The first, listen by using all available senses, not just your ears. The second, paraphrase what you think you've heard. For example, if I hear you correctly, you are saying, and then repeat what that person has said to you. The third, check your understanding. So after you rephrased what you thought you heard, ask, is that correct? And the last but not least, provide your feedback. So based off of what that person has said to you, provide some sort of feedback that you think would be beneficial or useful to that person. So the second is empathetic listening. When would you use empathetic listening? Well, Typically, this is done when you're trying to be supportive of someone, whether that be a coworker, whether that be one of your friends. So what do you usually do when you are empathetically listening? You want to fully engage in that conversation. You want to empathize with that person based off of what they're saying, and you want to really show them that you care about what they say. And lastly, of course, at the end, you usually want to end with something like, I understand why you feel that way, something to make them feel comfortable, something to make them feel like you truly understand what they're saying and you truly empathize with what they are saying. So the last one that the book talks about is critical listening. Critical listening is used to evaluate the accuracy, the meaningfulness, and the usefulness of a message. Typically, this is used in the decision-making process. It helps you discover if that person is credible. It helps you discover if what they're saying is sound, relevant to the issue, and adequate. So how do I use all these different aspects of listening? Well, as you may know, I work in our campus center as a graduate assistant at facility operations. So essentially, I oversee everything that happens from day to day, while also overseeing about 50 staff members. So when they come to me with their problems, their concerns, maybe their issues, or even their ideas, I sit there and I engage in a conversation with them where I am effectively listening to them. I'm sitting there engaging back and forth in conversation, and then when I finally feel like I have identified their problem, their concern, or their idea, I re-paraphrase re it to them. I simply ask, hey, is this what you're saying? And then I follow up with what exactly they've told me. At the end of that, I look at them and I say, is that correct? Is that what you're trying to relay to me? If that is correct, then I move forward. I think for a second or two and I'm like, okay, here's how we can solve your problem. And I provide them with effective feedback to either solve their problem or maybe even ways to implement their ideas. So now that you know how I use listening, as a leader in the campus center, I want to leave you with some words of advice. Here's four easy steps to the perfect guide to listening, and I promise you they're as easy as one, two, three. So the first is listen completely before responding. The second, show them you care and show them that you've actually heard what they said. The third, make sure that you have it right. So now that you've paraphrased, you're going to confirm with that, is it correct or is this right? Is this what you're saying? And once you have done that, you're going to respond effectively. You're going to make sure that whatever you say is going to solve their problem, make them feel more comfortable, or even help them implement their idea as I do here in the Campus Center. I hope these steps and presentation that I have laid out for you will help you become that effective leader that we all strive to be. I want to thank you for listening and have a good day.